and welcome to the SAP Business One video overview. Today we're going to be talking about purchasing and specifically we're going to look at a goods receipt PO. So let's go take a look at our menu down here on the left hand side and look under our purchasing module and we can see all of the different items that are available on this module here and we're going to go down here to our goods receipt PO. Now I can click on a goods receipt uh, and create a blank one here. I could go in and I could manually add a goods receipt PO if I wanted to. However, uh, in most cases, what we like to be able to do is uh, create a goods receipt from uh, an existing purchase order that we have within the environment. So let's go take a look at some of our vendors that we have here. Let's choose one over here and see if I have any uh, purchase orders that are open that I can create a goods receipt PO. So let's go down here. Once I put in my vendor, we can say copy from, and we can see I can copy that from either a purchase quotation or a purchase order. Let's go look at purchase orders that are open. Here we go. I could create a single goods PO off of multiple purchase orders by choosing all of them, or I could create just a single one, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to choose that, and it's going to ask me to walk through a draw, a draw document wizard. Now, what I can do is I can draw all the data that is on that item, or I can customize. If you have currency conversions, I'm going to have it use my currency exchange rate from today. And let's do next and see what we have here. Now, I only have one item on here, so if I drew all data or if I customized, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been the exact same data that's within the system. So let's finish that, bring that on over. We can see the dates up here that have been populated automatically. We can also see where this is going to go, into what bin location. So I can go down and I can allocate what bin and location that I want this to be able to go into, and we can update that within the system. Once I update that bin location and put it into my warehouse, I can just go down here and I can add this. And we can see that this is based on purchase order 738. Now I'm going to just cancel out of here and let's go look at another one that we have within the system. Let's go back to our goods receipt PO. And let's look at uh, any other purchase orders that might be open for a different vendor. Let's try Acme here and see what we have going on. Let's copy from some purchase orders that we have, and we can see that in this case, I don't have any that are available. So let's do another route, and let's show you a way that I could do this. I could go over to a purchase order. Let's open up an existing purchase order that we have. Here we go. And now you're going to see the copy to. So in my copy to button over here, uh, down the right hand side is I can copy this to a goods receipt PO. So there we go. Goods receipt PO has been uh, added into the system. We can see that it is going into my warehouse one over here. We can see that this is based on this purchase order. Let's add that into the system. Once that's added in, let's go back and I want to show you the document flow and the relationship map that we have going on. So let's right click and let's look at that relationship map so you can get an idea of what we have going on here. Here's my goods receipt PO and it came directly from my purchase order. Very simple and easy for me to be able to create a goods receipt PO off of my purchase order and put all of those items into inventory. 